Welcome back to Studio 10. It's nice having you with us this morning. Now, when I was little, I remember my mom telling me, your hair is your glory. Did your mom ever say that to you? Of course, we all hope we get to keep that full head of hair that we have when we're kids, but sometimes losing hair is inevitable. Environmental factors cause hair loss, genetics. According to American Hair Loss Association, 40% of people who suffer from hair loss are ladies. Now, if you're suffering from hair loss and you've been thinking about hair transplantation, listen to what Dr. Bender from Gulf Coast Dermatology has to say about Neograft. So, Dr. Bender, who would be a candidate for Neograft hair transplant? Anyone can be a candidate for Neograft hair transplant, both men and women. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of, you know, if we have genetic hair loss and we need a little bit of help in certain areas where we've lost hair and we can't get any hair to grow there, then we can move hair around and help with Neograft. Any certain age group that you see asking for this type of hair transplant more than others? Well, it's usually men and women in their 50s and 60s. I mean, you know, they feel like they have you know, have uh, hair loss and they don't feel old. They don't want to look old. And so, right. you know, it, hair loss is one of those things that, you know, it's not like you can fix it yourself. Yeah. You know, there are a couple products out there that can certainly help keep our hair. But once we lose it, there's really no products that will help us bring hair back. Right. And so that's what the Neograft does. Now, how is this different from traditional hair transplantation? Well, you know, the biggest difference is you don't have to remove part of the scalp, you know, in the posterior osp in the back of the head. You know, in traditional hair transplantation, uh, basically what we do is we cut a part of the scalp out, we dissect the hair follicles out from that scalp. So if you have a huge scar in the back of your scalp, it has to heal. Mm -hmm. Most of the complications arising from hair transplantation are going to be associated with that long scar. The other thing is, you generally aren't going to get as many good grafts because there's an extra step to remove those follicles from the scalp that has to take place. Whereas with Neograft, we take it out with the machine, buy the follicle, and then it's ready to be implanted. Now, usually what will happen is when the follicle takes, the hair will fall out of the shaft and then a new hair will grow over mm -hmm. time. And it takes three to four months just to see that growth. Well, with this procedure, what we're finding is many of them, actually, the hair never even falls out. It stays in the shaft. Now, the hair's really short, but then it just starts growing immediately. The ones that do fall out and then we regrow new hair, we'll see it within a couple of months. And generally, depending on the length of the hair, fully grown in six to seven months. Does this take multiple procedures, or is it just one, and then you start to see growth after a certain amount of time? Well, you know, every patient's different, of course. It depends on how many hairs they need. The most we do in one sitting with Neograft is 2,000. And 2,000 grafts will fill in about a CD. Now, most patients, you know, they'll choose to maybe do 1,000. Mm -hmm. And they figure, hey, if, if it doesn't, you know, fill in as much as I'd like or get as thick as I'd like, we can always do a procedure later on. The Neograft procedure is so gentle as far as, again, we don't have to dissect the hair out. How natural does it look? It's completely natural. We're doing uh, punch grafts that are less than one millimeter in diameter, which is a little bit larger than the actual hair follicle. And so when we move that follicle somewhere else, no one can tell. Now, if we're recreating a hairline for a man, for example, then we're going to use single hair grafts. What does that mean? When we take a follicle out, they can have one hair in it, two hairs, three hairs, or four hairs. And most of them are going to have twos and threes. So when we take them out and we look, there's only one hair. That's a good hair that you can put in the front of the scalp to recreate the hairline and make it look very natural. As you're bulking up behind that frontal hairline, you can use the two, threes, and fours to basically just bulk that part up. When someone has this type of hair transplantation, neograft, how long do they need to plan to be out, to take off work or be out of regular daily activities? You know, if they don't have a, a job that requires a lot of strenuous activity, they can go back to work within a few days. Now, if they do a lot of heavy lifting or anything that can get their heart rate or blood pressure up, we say, you know, give yourself about a week. It's a lot easier on the patient as far as having Neograft without the lengthy scar. They can wear their hair however they choose mm -hmm. going forward. And so I think that more folks are, you know, willing to do that. And so if you want to know more about Neograft, this is the guy you need to talk to, Dr. Bender here at Gulf Coast Dermatology. That's right. And you can visit Dr. Bender at Gulf Coast Dermatology in Mobile or in Daphne. We have both addresses and Dr. Bender's phone number on our website, fox10tv.com. It's all on the Studio 10 page. Joe?